Watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. All right, welcome back. Those who serve in the military gain all kinds of skills, right, that translate well to the workforce. And now there's a push for companies to hire reservists, provide those opportunities to members of our military. I'm joined this morning by Emil Baker, the Department of Defense, Sergeant Mike Richardson, military liaison with the New York State Police. Gentlemen, welcome. Nice to see you this morning. Emil, you've been here before, so let's talk about this. In, in your role, the employer support of the Garden Reserve, correct? Yes, the sir. The DOD, and, and you guys aim to do what exactly? We do a couple different things. Uh, we're a support unit for the Department of Defense, and what we do is we help our soldiers here in New York, and that, that's the National Guard, the Air Guard, uh, the Army Reserves, mm -hmm. all of the branches. We help them get employment. We help them also retain employment. We also help them with the interaction with their employers. And we know for, for a lot of our veterans, that can be a struggle sometimes, finding that work, correct? It is, it is, but I think the amazing part is right now with the economy and the way it is, people value the ability mm -hmm. of service people to work their dedication, execute a mission, and those are valued employees. It's just connecting them sometimes, and that's why we're having this event tomorrow is to actually honor and recognize those great employers. And we will mention that in just a moment, but Sergeant Richardson, I want to mention, you are a member of the Army Reserve. I am. And yes. you've been with the state police for how long? Nine years now, sir. Appreciate it. And when and when did you when did you join the reserve? Which of you have been serving longer? So uh, the, military, <laughs> yes. the military. So I'm a lieutenant colonel in the Army Reserves, and it'll be 18 years of service this July. And we thank you for your service. I appreciate it. So what what do programs like this mean mean to you and, and the other veterans out there? Well, they're fantastic, and just like Emil was saying, you know, the New York State Police is one of those organizations that really likes to hire mm -hmm. and, and employ veterans because of those attributes and characteristics that he mentioned that they bring to the table. So we purposely pursue hiring veterans, and we have uh, over 20% of our members mm -hmm. right now uh, are either uh, veterans of one of the armed forces or they're current or former members of the reserves of the Guard. That's fantastic to hear. So let's talk about the ceremony that's taking place tomorrow, uh, honoring some of the employers around the Capital Region. Absolutely, and, and one of them we are honoring is also the state police. Right. In the six years I've been doing this, they've received many awards every year from their employees who are in the, the service. So they've done an excellent job with these folks and they love their work. But we're having a whole diversity of, of different employers. We're having some heads of uh, New York State entities there. Uh, we have presidents of hospitals, mm. um, quite a few people that are there receiving that recognition from their current military employees. And this is an event that's well intended. I mean, you, you're honoring upwards of a of hundred different employers, is yes, that correct? Yes, yes, correct. And we're having that. And we're also going to explain some about the deployments and the different things that these troops have done over the past year or two. And it's amazing because every time I hear of it, I'm, I'm just so excited to think that our soldiers in New York State can do this. We have almost 20,000 mm. Guard and Reservists members here in New York State serving. And Sergeant Richardson, what would you have to say for your fellow reservists, other people out there that, that may be looking for some employment right now? How can they take advantage of this? Yeah, I would say absolutely consider uh, the state police as an mm -hmm. opportunity for you. It's a very natural transition from military service. A lot of the same things that they were seeking in the military, the values, the purpose, camaraderie, opportunity, they're found here in the New York State Police. Amal, you're a Vietnam veteran yourself. Mm -hmm. Can't thank you enough for your service. In times, we're certainly a lot different when you came back home. How is this, it must make you feel good, A, with the work that you're doing and to see how employers are now really taking advantage of it. It's a whole different world yeah. and, and I'm enjoying it and it's doing me a lot of good with this interaction, but I'm proud of the employers, I'm proud of the country, how they're treating these folks and how they're honoring their service and using them in a career that's gonna make their life better as a package between the military and the civilian work. We never had that. So I'm, I'm sure. so delighted. I'm a volunteer with this and I'm so delighted that we get to interact with our soldiers and our employers of the soldiers. And so are we, and we look forward to seeing those that are honored tomorrow. I'm sure we'll have a feature on that to come here on News 10 ABC. Gentlemen, thank you both for coming in. Really nice to see you, thanks so much. Thank you, thank Ryan. You. Thank so you for much. your service. All right, we're back with one last look at your forecast.